Welcome to the Congress Media Box. Joanne Anderson here in Strasbourg to talk about directly elected mayors. You were you. directly elected yeah. mayor of Liverpool uh, a couple of years ago. Since then, um, the rules have changed. Yeah. What do you think the reasons for that were and what impact will it have on legitimacy? So um, the situation in our city was particular is why we um, we all campaigned against having a directly elected mayor. The previous mayor was arrested. We felt that there was an abuse of power that had gone on. So we kind of spoke it for everybody, I think. So it wasn't so much about the model, more about our situation. Uh, why I personally um, uh, supported getting rid of the model was because of the source of personality over um, over substance really. So the Ronald Reagan style of politics, I think there was a few people circling in Liverpool when I was standing for election who quite fancied the job, who I thought would have been disastrous, but actually with a good win behind them, they would have been elected. So that was quite worrying. Um, we elect all our representatives. We have 90 councillors. They are all elected. They get to decide the leader model. So I wouldn't say it, it impacts that negatively on democracy, but of course, uh, having a directly elected mayor has more accountability to the, the residents who vote for them. You were talking there about it being uh, a particular situation. Yeah. There are many towns, cities yeah. across Europe looking at moving um, towards the model that Liverpool moved away from. What would be your advice to them? There's pros and cons. So I think absolutely some of the pros is, you know, the visibility of the figureheads of the city. We've got Eurovision coming to Liverpool. Um, you know, having a directly elected mayor is really good in terms of, you know, that political awareness, the visibility, the cultural awareness, and even sort of uh, people who want to kind of invest in the city, they like to deal with one person. So there's real benefits in that way. Some of the negatives is that, you know, some people say power corrupts. I think power reveals, but having too much power in the in the hands of one person um, can be problematic. But actually, the mayoral model that we have doesn't really give that much extra powers to a mayor. It's just how that's used. It's very much down to the particular situation. Joanne Anderson, thanks for talking to us. Thank you. Thanks, Chris.